Preparatory for my speech, I would like to start with a simple yet straightforward quote from a well-known activist. Adults keep saying, we owe it to the young people to give them hope. But I don't want your hope. I don't want you to be hopeful. I want you to panic. I want you to feel the fear I feel every day. And then I want you to act. I want you to act as you will in a crisis. I want you to act as if the house is on fire, because it is. A quote from Greta Thunberg, a Swedish environmental activist who tackles climate change by challenging world leaders to take the initiative on the climate crisis. Salutations, please support me by my first name, and that is Angeline. I'm here to represent St. Henrico Senior High School on behalf of my associates. I would like to say thank you for having us as I'm here to speak about the extreme climate change since the recovery of the pandemic. The quote was from a young activist who is currently on the rise to talk about the climate change and its consequences of it to the world. Yet, people on the internet are currently humiliating her for her actions. Even the former president of the United States of America, Donald Trump, mocked her when she delivered a message about the climate crisis. This was in 2019, before the pandemic started. We all knew our Earth is currently burning due to our action. For instance, the pollution from our vehicles, the endless mountain of trash, animals going instinct by losing their habitats due to rapid deforestation, and so on. We know that it is caused by our actions due to us being on top of the food chain known as the apex predator. Even so, we are physically weak compared to other apex predators such as bears, sharks, wolf, killer whales, etc. However, we have the intelligence to overpower any situations. For example, if we were hungry enough, we could potentially wipe off half of the animal population at any tropic level on an industrial scale. It unveils that human controls the current ecosystem from the food source, territory, energy, and to summarize it, power. Going back to our original topic, Indonesia's current rank is sixth among the top 10 most air polluted countries in the world. This data was taken in 2020 from worldpopulationreview.com. Right now, Indonesia's ranking is 17 among the most air polluted countries worldwide. All sorts of air pollution is due to us using fossil fuels that produce heat trapping gases. We use fossil fuels to produce energy. For instance, to run our cars, to provide running water and electricity in our homes, and lastly, manufacture. During the pandemic, citizens are forced to stay indoors and avoid eye-to-eye -eye interactions. This caused us to use more fossil fuels than last year. To illustrate, my parents had to work from home and use their laptop and phone to continue their work, while I, as a student, had to use my electronics to support my online learning. For half a year, we became so used to being at home, we became too independent on our electronics. Not only us, but other citizens also became too independent and used more fossil fuels than last year. Even after the pandemic, we are still recovering, but slower compared to developing countries. To simplify it, our country is on fire. Our weather is already too tumultuous to be predicted. The air isn't safe enough to be breathed by children and sick people. While our government ensured us that it is still safe to be living in Indonesia, while well, Jakarta is ranked as the most populated and polluted city in Indonesia. To the point, Jakarta is struggling as they are sinking, with traffic jams that are impossible to move, and our government's only solution is not to ban the use of fossil fuels, but just to move city, with the reason the capital city is in the risk of sinking. We can no longer save the world by acting by the rules. We must start the act by banning the use of fossil fuels and start saving the world. What's the point of us using and studying if our own, own world is dying? If the adults are saying to let the government initiate the act, it won't happen. Therefore, let us start the act of banning fossil fuels. If we start the law on the use of fossil fuels, it will save the earth from the extreme climate crisis. Thank you for listening to my speech on the climate crisis. I hope what I've said could raise an awareness on the climate crisis. Once again, thank you and have a splendid day.